Hello and welcome to Cisco's Video On Demand series. In this video we will natively stack three SG500 X-Series switches, viewing both the web interface and the physical switches as they go through the process of creating the stack. Then, by connecting to one IP address, a simple configuration will be pushed to each of the three switches. This slide shows the stack ports along with the Cisco SFP Twin X copper cable that will be used to create the stack. I have statically assigned my PC 192.168.1.10 address. I have three SG500 X series switches which I have upgraded to the latest firmware and changed the default password on them. I have my PC connected to one of the switches and I am connecting to the default IP address 192.168.1.254. The system summary page shows that the switch is in native stacking mode and here is the firmware we are running. And you see the graphical representation of the switch. The PC is connected to port 7. If we go to the VLAN management under port to VLAN configuration, we see that there is one unit. We will come back to this page after the stack is configured. Let's go take a look at the switches now. As you can see, we have two SG500X24 port and one 48 port switches. In the middle switch, we are connected to port 7. I have placed the SPF cables into the slots but have not fully inserted them. I go from S1 down to S2, S1 to S2, and S1 to S2 to create a ring topology. This configuration provides a fault tolerance that if one of the stack links goes down, the stack stays established. And now with the cables fully inserted into the stack ports, we see the switches start to do the automatic configuration of the stack. Our video shows that the middle switch has taken the role of master and has assumed the stack ID 1. Next, the top switch becomes the backup and assumes the ID 2. And finally, our 48 port switch should take the role of slave and assume ID 3 which it just did. Let's go take a look at the web interface of the stack. My PC is still connected to port 7 and I go back to the IP address 192.168.1.254. Input my password and connect to the master switch. We will go over to the system summary page and take a look at the current status of the stack. page shows that we are in native stacking mode, but below now we have the graphical representation of the stack. The unit that we are connected to is the master, then we have our backup, and our 48 port switch is our slave. Heading back over to our port to VLAN page, we see that we now have three units, unit 1, 2, and 3. Now from this one interface, I will configure all three switches. I will create three VLANs and then apply each VLAN to a separate interface on each switch. Now with my three VLANs created, I will go over to the port to VLAN page and assign my VLANs to the ports. Here we choose the VLAN and then the unit of the switch that we want to work on. Click the Go button, which makes VLAN 10 the active VLAN on these ports. On GE1, we are tagging that as VLAN 10 and saving the configuration. We come back, go to VLAN 20 choose a different unit. We're going to unit 2 on this one. Click go. Apply on interface 2. Tagged VLAN 20. And on our VLAN 30 we will go to our unit 3 
and to our port 3 and apply our tagged VLAN there. Our unit 3 is our slave switch in our stack and you can see we have our 48 ports here. Save the configuration and we are done. Let's verify our configuration by going to port VLAN membership and checking each of the units and we will see VLAN 10 is tagged on one, port one, on unit two, port two, VLAN 20 is tagged and on port three, on our unit three, VLAN 30 is tagged. This concludes our native stack demonstration. Thank you for watching.